Hello, my name is Mark Plocker. In this segment, we're going to cover how the centrifugal clutch on a chainsaw operates. Okay, what I have here is a chainsaw, a gas operated chainsaw. I've removed the bar and the chain and the cover that holds the assembly together so we can have access to the centrifugal clutch. And how the centrifugal clutch operates is this outside portion of the clutch free spins. That's the sprocket that drives the chain itself that does the cutting. The inside portion is connected to the crankshaft and as the name implies it operates centrifugally. It uses a spring around here, two counterweights which are connected to two clutch discs or friction pads. The spring holds the two counterweights in while the engine's idling at low RPM. As the RPM increases, the counterweight's centrifugal force exceeds the spring pressure, starts sliding, well, let me see if I can get this here. I'll just do one at a time. And that slides outward. See how it applies that friction disc to the outer housing, which connects and drives the, spr the sprocket that drives the chain on the bar. That's how the centrifugal clutch operates on a chainsaw.